several key races in South Carolina, but none may be bigger than the race for governor. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli live at Eastside High in Taylor's with more on that. Hi, Christine. Fred Sevilla, yeah, definitely one of the most talked about races for sure. You know, these candidates were all over the state, especially yesterday, you know, making those last minute appearances, trying to get their faces out there. Some of them had watch parties. They're probably the ones you've been hearing about the most for sure. And when we talk to experts uh, here in the update as well, uh, political experts say, you know, really these are, are the most visible candidates in this race, probably the one most likely to go to a runoff as well. Take a look at the candidates. You can see them here, Republican and Democrat. You can start off with Republicans. We've got current Governor Henry McMaster facing off against Catherine Templeton, John Warren, Yancey McGill, and Kevin Bryant. And then over on the Democratic side, State Representative James Smith, Phil Noble, and Marguerite Willis. Now, in a primary, you're going to see a lower turnout, maybe some of the lowest numbers you'll see in any election, according to historians here in the upstate, especially Jonathan Sarnoff from Limestone College says, although Though the numbers might be low at some of these precincts, you're going to see those dedicated voters, guys, those that are really conservative, really, really liberal, those that support their candidates through and through. They're going to come out, they're going to show their support and then bring their friends, their close friends. They're going to be talking about these primaries very, very early. Uh, so if they're voting, they're motivated on the Democrats, you know, they're facing an uphill battle, historians say. They typically are in South Carolina, but they're going to be very motivated to vote. On the Republican side, you're going to see Henry McMaster there flaunting that endorsement from President Trump and other Republicans trying to show that they are close to that Trump as well and, and that they do have ties to him because South Carolina historically is such a conservative and Republican state. So you're going to see a lot of that alignment lining up here in the primaries. Guys, again, looking forward to a couple numbers. Some turned out this morning, maybe not the highest, but we'll certainly keep you posted on what we see out here from Taylor's. We'll send it back to you.